the top five highest yield dividend stocks out there. And no, you don't need a million dollars to get started. And no, you don't need to buy my $995 course whatsoever. All you need to do is just watch this video till the end and you will find out exactly what are the top five dividend stocks out there. And on top of that, why dividend is so important. And also, why dividend is also overrated. So stick around for that. Now, if you don't know me, my name is Tyne Bryson. I'm an accountant and I've been doing this for a while now. And I'm one of the only YouTubers on the platform that actually posts this video about finance and making more money every single day. And I haven't missed a single day for the past 150 days or more. So make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified every single time I upload a new video. And while you're at it, hit the like button if you're watching this video right now, which if you're watching, then you gotta hit the like button, okay? We made a rule, we made a deal, okay? Make it happen. And as always, guys, I do wanna ask you one question, so comment down below and answer yes or no. Do you currently have any investments that give you any type of dividends? And do you currently have any investments that don't give you any type of dividends? For me, for example, all my investments give me dividends, but later on in the video, I'm gonna explain to you why that's not really that important. So now that you commented, I wanna jump straight into the video and actually talk about exactly what are the top five ones out there, but I always wanna make sure you guys actually understand exactly what I'm talking about prior to telling you this stuff so you don't have to Google anything like another YouTube videos, okay? So here's my thing. The first thing is this, Tommy, what is a dividend? How does it work? And why do companies do it? And all this other stuff, okay? So I'm gonna answer it with the first question. Dividends are actually, by the way, this is traditional definition. So dividends are actually a payout by the companies to its shareholders. What this means is, is if you own any stock from a company, for example, um, Tesla, oh no, McDonald's, right? McDonald's, you own McDonald's shares. Well, you're a part of the company ownership because, hey, you own a part of the company. So every single quarter, every three months or so on, depending on the company, they're going to send you a check for the dividend yield for that quarter. Okay. That's how it works. But there's two different ways companies actually do this. For example, companies can either give you a cash dividend or a stock dividend, meaning that they can either give you cash, check, dollar, whatever it is, or they can pay you in stock and you can either reinvest that while well, you're already reinvesting it, you know, cause you already got paid. So you can only execute it once you sell it, but they actually do the same thing. So there's stock dividends and also cash dividends. And my definition is this, a stock dividend is when the company pays you a return on the money you've invested with them over time to make sure they can keep you loyal and have you get some kind of initiative to actually stick to the company for the long run. And a little tip guys, because I know you guys are probably wondering about this and you guys know I'm an accountant, so I'm constantly thinking about tax stuff. Well, here's the thing. You do have to pay taxes on your dividends, but it actually gets taxed twice. And here's why, because imagine this, when the company earns that revenue, they have to pay taxes on that. When they pay it out to you, now you have to pay taxes on it twice, okay? So basically, they get taxed and you get taxed and that's what double taxation actually is. If you didn't know that, comment down below or like the video while you're at it. So another thing I wanna explain, guys, is why do companies actually pay out dividends? Because I'm pretty sure you guys know this. Some companies out there pay out dividends, some companies don't pay out dividends. And the reason they actually do this is because some companies wanna attract customers and actually have customers stay there by getting them a return. For example, imagine this. If the company is staying like this, right? and you're getting paid dividends, you're more likely to actually stay with the company because you're getting something back for your money. But the company's staying like this and it's not really moving and you're not getting paid any money on top of that and there's no signs of growth, then the likely chance of you actually staying with the company is less. And on top of that, sometimes the board of directors actually choose to have dividends because that way they actually get money for their investments instead of having to wait. Now, in what situation would a company not want to pay dividends? For example, most of the time when you see this is because the company is very good, more than often, okay? For example, Amazon, Google, and a whole bunch of other companies out there, Berkshire Hathaway, which is worth like $200,000, I think, or maybe $300,000, which is insane. Most of these companies don't pay out any dividends because they use the majority of their money to reinvest right back into the business. So don't think that not getting a dividend is a bad thing. It just might mean that the company is using that money to reinvest it back into the business, which is very good. And it returns on a higher portfolio worth because the price should keep going up as they keep innovating. And I do want to clarify something, guys. Not every single company you should be expecting a dividend from because sometimes it doesn't make any sense, but sometimes you should be expecting something. What this means is, is that it's not black and white. For example, if I'm going to be investing for the long term, usually I want to see some return on my money because that's how it works. For example, but if I'm investing into Amazon and I know Amazon is going to be expanding a ton, then I might say, hey, I'll trade the dividends for a higher valuation on a stock. And eventually, if I eventually want to sell it, if I believe in the company, then guess what? 
I can sell it and get a bigger profit than I would if they were just paying out that money and they would have slowed down on their projects. So always think to why the business is actually taking the decision because in a sense, guys, you are a business owner when you buy a piece of that company. So comment down below and let me know. Would you want a company that's paying you dividends or would you rather a company that's growing expeditiously but it's not paying you dividends. So for example, would you rather Amazon or would you rather Home Depot that pays dividends to a good company, but they're not gonna be like Amazon that doesn't pay any dividends, but they don't have the same growth as Amazon. Which one do you prefer in the comments down below? Me personally, I like getting money for my money 24 seven because I'm investing for the long run and I know compound interest actually adds up a lot more. And when you have to rely on a company to make the right investments, that's not always the best idea because sometimes companies make bad decisions. So the top five highest yielding stocks out there are actually as follows. Now I do wanna clarify something guys. In this video, these stocks that I provided are not gonna be normal stocks. They're not gonna be like, oh my gosh, it just came out yesterday. It's a very high yield and a dividend. Great, great. No, I'm gonna be talking about stocks that have been around for a really long time, more than often, a longer time than I have been alive myself, okay? So they've been around for a while and they have a very long track record of success because I wanna make sure whatever I'm showing you guys here, if you do choose to invest in this company, you know that it's not just a fad, it's not just a trend, so just make sure you understand that. So number one, Home Depot. I think it's Depot or Depot, I don't know, okay? Just correct me in the comments down below. But Home Depot, basically, and by the way, the ticker symbol is actually HD, which is very cool. The price for the entire share right now is $207, and they have a dividend yield of around 2.9%, which is very high, and the dollar value of that is around $5.44, meaning that, hey, if you have one share, Every single year, you're gonna get around $5.44, which is pretty good. And by the way, in the last five years, this company has grown by over 150%. And I'm pretty sure you understand this, guys, because on average, it takes your money 10 years to seven years to actually double. And if you had left your money with Home Depot five years ago, your money would have grown by around 150%. On top of that, all the dividends you've been receiving, so it all adds up and it all compounds. Now you're probably wondering, Tommy, what about the history of the company? Well, the company has been around since 1981. During that time, I never even thought about being born, and probably you didn't think about being born either unless you're like in your 40s or 50s, you know? But I didn't even have an idea of being born. I don't even think my parents were thinking about that, okay? Here's my thing, on top of that, here has been my experience with Home Depot. And I, was, I was, and I always wanna clarify this because a lot of companies out there, yes, they pay a lot of dividends, yes, they have a very good valuation, but when you visit the company itself and you visit a whole bunch of companies, you might say, hey, this company is gonna go bankrupt very soon. It doesn't make any sense and it doesn't work, okay? But Home Depot, whenever you go to Home Depot, you're greeted by someone out there that's qualified, that knows what they're talking about, and I really do appreciate that. So I think Home Depot is a good bet. Now, number two. Texas Instruments, and the ticker symbol is TXN. Now, for the first time ever, when I heard about this one, I was like, okay, which company is it? And is it a company that I actually think of? Well, yes, it is that company that gives you the calculators in high school. And I don't know about you, but in Bronx, in the Bronx, New York, every single public school ha gets one of these calculators and then the students use them. And every single time after you're done using it, you have to put it back in the box because it's so expensive that sometimes some students actually sell them by the way, I actually used to buy these calculators from people and then sell them online on eBay for like a hundred bucks every single day during the entire college season. So I used to make a lot of money from these calculators. I'm pretty sure that's legal, okay? Second hand, it wasn't stolen, okay? But here's my thing. The price for this stock is around $110.41. The yield is 2.9% and the dollar value of that yield is around $3.08 annually. So for example, if you have 10,000 shares, you're gonna run, well, if you have 10,000 shares, which that's a lot of money. That's like over like, what is it, like over $300,000 worth? Well, if you have that much money, you're gonna get back around three times 10,000, around $30,000. You're gonna have a ton of money coming in every single year if you have 10,000 shares. But that's a lot of money, you might not have it. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people out there don't have it. But some history in the company, they've actually been around since September 1972. Again, my mom wasn't even born then, okay? This is how long this company has been active. And you should be looking for companies that have a long, long track record of success. On top of that, the experience with this company is that, hey, this company actually has a whole bunch of contracts with a whole bunch of schools out there. And they are the providers of all those calculators. And whenever you ask someone like, hey, I need a scientific calculator, they always talk about the Texas Instrumental one, okay? Because it's very popular and people know that it actually does great work with the graphs also. I remember that also. So pretty good bet. 
three dollars 2.9 percent pretty good on the dividend side and it's a good company also number three cisco systems and the ticker symbol is actually c s c o now by the way i am telling you the ticker symbol so you can look it up easier online rather than having to type the entire number in now the price of this stock is actually 56 dollars and 22 cents the yield is around 2.9 percent well no 2.69 percent and you're gonna earn like around a dollar 40 every single year per share and that's pretty good, honestly. So if you have, have 10,000 shares and it's not even that expensive, like 10,000 times 50. Alexa, what's 10,000 times 50? 10,000 times 50 is 500,000. Yeah, five, oh, so I was right when I was saying that example. So it's around five hundred thousand dollars, and you're gonna get back well ten thousand times. You get around, you're gonna get back like around fifteen to thirteen thousand dollars every single year, and that's pretty good, not bad at all. And they've been around since around nineteen ninety. I still wasn't born in nineteen ninety. Okay, I'm trying to find one that my age is right there, but I still wasn't born then. So they've been around for a while, and you're gonna get a lot of money back by investing into this company. By the way, I think this company has like a monopoly when it comes to experience. I think they have a monopoly on all the hardware for internet okay because everywhere you go in new york specifically they always have like a cisco router or anything that's to do with cisco they have like a monopoly in the game yo and i'm not calling you guys out but i'm pretty sure there's a whole bunch of other competitors out there too but it's everywhere okay everywhere 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 so this company's not going anywhere for a long time unless the entire internet and entire hardware and systems just does an entire like 360 or like a 180 so yeah so there's that oh and also in the past five years cisco system has grown by around 116 percent and and i think i forgot also but texas instruments the calculator company they've actually grown by 126 percent so if you had invested your company in either or company you would have doubled your money in less than five years or almost five years so that's pretty good on top of that, you get dividends, so that also compounds on top of the valuation that you have been getting on the stock. Now, the fourth highest seal dividend payment stock out there is actually called Paychex. Now, this is the only one on the list that I didn't really know anything about. Now, Paychex is valued like around $86 per share right now. They pay around 2.89%. That's around $2.48 per share every single year. But I do want to say this. I didn't know anything about this company, but now I do know, and it's that they handle all the HR for most companies out there, and they also handle all the what is it like payroll like um software out there so they're gonna be around for a while as long as corporate america is around for a long time which they will be because that's not changing anytime soon and they have been around since 1983 i still wasn't born there okay i'm pretty young and it kind of sucks okay don't want to talk about it but yes, if you had invested five years ago, your money would have grown by around 108%. So it's a very high yield and also company has been around for a very long time. So by the way, guys, you're probably wondering, Tommy, what happens if I would invest my money now? Can I expect that same return? Like maybe like in the next five years? And the answer is no. And I'm going to tell you later on in the video why I think a lot of things are going to change when it comes to all these companies and the market itself. So stick around for that. Trust me, it's going to be very interesting. Now, the fifth one is JP Morgan. JP Morgan pays a big, big dividend yield of around 3%. The value of the stock right now is around $110. So it's not even that expensive. You can get your first share for literally $110 in JP Morgan. Now, I do know this for a fact. By the way, $110, 3% dividend yield, that's around $3.20 every single, well, by the way, it's like three per it's like three point twenty percent. It's not three percent. And you're gonna get around like three dollars and twenty cents every single year from this like stock just in base and dividends, okay? Which is very good. So if you have ten thousand stocks, that's around thirty thousand dollars every single year in income. So that's a lot of money. But here's my thing, guys. JP Morgan is a company that's mainly focused on revenue and getting more and more money from their customers. Here's where I know this because they focus so much, by the way. JP Morgan is one of the biggest banks in America. I think they are the biggest one. And listen, they do invest a ton of money in products out there that take money away from the customers, like credit cards, loans, and all this stuff that have like the best rates in the game. But when it comes to savings accounts, they don't really bother with that because they know they can't make money from that. And they're like a cash cow. And they want to make a ton of money from their customers. So JP Morgan is not going anywhere anytime soon. By the way, they've been around since 1983. So a very long time. I'm pretty sure it's been like longer than that, but that's what it's saying on Google. So that's what I'm going to go with. 1983 It's still a very, okay, no, it's not 1983. It's around 1980 actually. And if you would have invested your money and left it for five years, you would have gotten around 90%. 
return on your money of today. So that's a pretty good amount. Comment down below guys. Let me know which one of these stocks is actually your favorite down below. And for me, I think my favorite one is probably Home Depot, JB Morgan and, uh, and Cisco. Those are pretty good companies out there and it's not like just tech. It's actually tech, banking and retail. So you want to be a little diversified and you're probably asking me, Tommy, are you going to start investing in individual stocks? And the answer is no. I'm not going to do that at all. But here are my final thoughts. Now that you commented down below, let me know in the comments down below. I'm very interested to actually see which one is your favorite, but here's my final thoughts, guys. I'm very real when it comes to the market and I seen the market go down. I seen it go up. I think I just did that backwards, but you get my point. I seen it go up and down every single whatever year or so on. Right. And I can tell you this for the first time ever, the market is going on this crazy, crazy run of constant up. And I looked at all these charts for all these companies and by far, this is one of the highest years for all of them. Now, what this is telling me is this, either two things are gonna happen. The companies are gonna keep going up and up and up and up, or they can go down very soon. And this is exactly what I think is gonna happen. I think a mass market correction is coming very soon. So my recommendation is this, save your money, invest your money in index funds. And if you don't have enough money to invest $250 in the SP 500, because it is a lot of money for one stock, well, one fund, whatever you want to call it, right? It is a lot of money. So just download Acorn, Acorn. And whenever you download, I have a link down below. You get five bucks. I get five bucks also. And just start, they say start investing like that. But I don't really recommend investing in individual companies because I do believe in the future, not too long from now. By the way, I'm saying between like five to 10 years. Like it might seem like a long time to you, but I think even shorter than that. I think maybe like two to five years. Honestly, I'm going to put it right there. I think a mass market correction is going to come. And when that does happen, stocks are going to sink down to the floor. And when that happens, you have have to have cash on hand because if you remember back in 1929 was it 1929 i think 1929 or 1959 when the great depression did happen a lot of people made their biggest fortune back then because they bought stocks at their lowest rates ever okay so when that time does come which is coming very soon by the way if you look at the entire charts you'll see like the market is going like this and if you look at like the like in 2000 like the market was going like this also and then you see like boop and that's why I'm predicting now. I'm going to go like this and it's going to go like, but people are going to lose a lot of money. So if you're buying high right now, just be careful with what you're doing. But as always, guys, I do want to give you guys multiple options. So if you want to invest in index funds, use Acorn, use my link down below. But if you also want to invest in individual stocks like Amazon, a like whatever you want to invest into, right? I don't recommend that at all, by the way, but if you want to do it, I recommend you actually check out Simple Wall Street. And it's actually a very good website that calculates the intrinsic value and all type of formulas that Warren Buffett uses himself. And then they show you exactly the valuation of the stock according to those formulas that Warren Buffett usually uses. So if you want to check that out, check it out. I don't get paid if you get that link, by the way, but I do get five bucks when you register for Acorn. Just being transparent, 100%. And as always, guys, do I recommend you start investing in any of these companies? And the answer is, um, no, it depends only if you know what you're doing, you should be investing in this stuff. And only if you know what evaluation is only if you know how to calculate the value of a company and only if you're willing to study maybe like four to eight hours every single day on market research. Okay. That's the only way you can actually start investing into these individuals companies. If you don't want to do that and you just want to track the entire stock market. So whatever the market makes for that entire like year, you can get back the same return. I recommend just investing in index funds with acorn. Pretty simple, very easy to use, and that's exactly what I do with my money because I don't want to be studying every single day how the market is actually doing. So comment down below and let me know. Are you going to get any of these stocks or are you going to get index funds? Let me know in the comments down below. And do you think I'm exaggerating that there's going to be a market crash really soon? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm very interested to actually find out what you actually think about this entire thing. And as always, guys, thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, leave a big thumbs up. That's how I know you guys like the videos. On top of that, that's how YouTube knows you guys like the videos, so they keep pushing it out. And the channel keeps growing and growing and growing. So I appreciate when you guys do that. And if you want to talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, uno a uno, just DM me on Instagram at Tommy Bryson. And as always, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified every single day i upload a video and if you want to support the channel buy one of these hoodies which is t-shirts but like, oh, you can actually tell right i'm sweating my okay I'm, i can't say that on youtube and if you can actually tell right i'm actually sweating like crazy in my room because it is so hot and i'm wearing this hoodie but i couldn't find one of my t-shirts okay i'll see you guys next time on this video thanks for watching and peace you've got to start at the bottom if you ever gonna reach the top you've got to